good architecture is always anticipated. What's exciting to me is the process. And when people look at this stuff, because it looks like it just happened, they don't realize how much time and effort went into the incubation. A community self-esteem has increased so much. We have moved from admiring the architect to be proud of being the clever ones who did this project. Architecture has to have the element of time. How can you judge a work today? And then what will happen to it 20, 50 years later? Mm -hmm. That's the measure. That South Center will always be as perfect as it was conceived. The teak one may fade away, probably did, it has, but the spirituality of that project will remain. The artists weren't wed to the tradition. They, they could do whatever they want, and they'd respond on a gut level. They didn't come out of a, a school. So they did what felt right, what looked right. They manipulate things and really push the limits without the feeling of tradition and history. Lou didn't want anything in his buildings to look like he hadn't anticipated them. So when something was going to happen, instead of trying to suppress it, he made more of it. It all had to do with revealing the process. The scars on a building that are produced by the way it's made uh, should be revealed. building, which is located at the heart of the campus where there will be a lot of activity. The building speaks to innovation and collaboration. It's a portal into the convergence of the arts and the technology. Let's find out what's the anticipatory dimension of the new ATEC buildings. 